So if you have pain, tingling, and numbness in the outside of your leg, you may have a condition known as Weralgia Parasthetica. It's a big mouthful of a word, uh, but if you have been diagnosed with it, there aren't very many things out there that they've said to let it heal other than just kind of sit and wait on it. But there is one technique that I found uh, using a tape called kinesiology tape or K-tape, which will help decrease the symptoms in many cases. So listen up. And of course, before we get going, you need to subscribe to Riley Rehab, because every single week I'm going to be coming up with videos just like this one, helping you become the expert of your own body. So, let's get into the big myalgia parasthetica. Big mouthful of a word, what does it mean? It just means that the outside of your leg feels tingling and numbness, and it's usually around an area, like right here as I've outlined. Basically, what happens is you have a nerve. Now, I can't roll up too far, but you have a nerve in the groin area that passes underneath a little tunnel, and there's a ligament on top of that tunnel, and usually if you've had something like heavy tool belts or anything kind of pinching there for a while, that, that, that can actually put pressure on the nerve and pinch it. But regardless, I'm focused on the solution, not the problem, so the big idea is you want to take pressure off that ligament to allow your pain to go down. So what are we going to do? The first thing that you need to do is, uh, if you are a more uh, hairy fellow or lady, uh, you will need to shave in the area because it is in a pretty up close and personal spot where we're going to be taping here. Uh, YouTube probably won't allow me to go any further than how far I'm going now, but if you were to put your hands on your hips and kind of see where you can fit this here, there's a little crease there, and that's the area where we're going to be putting the tape. So for that area, you have to make sure it's nice and clean shaven. I, I did my due diligence for you guys and cleaned up over there as well. And also with using the kinesiology tape, the biggest thing that I find is you need to make sure it sticks. I, I've seen so many times where I've gone to stores and I've bought stuff that hasn't sticked well. So what I'd recommend is finding something that you know has, is proven to be able to stay on even if you get sweaty, even if you take a shower. Uh, if there is one thing I can personally endorse just from personal experience, it's uh, this in motion K Tech kinesiology tape. At the time of making this video, I don't receive any money for this, but at the same time, I do feel it's, it's worth it. In my opinion, I bought some and I'm using it on some of my clients as well. So, with that being said, let's get into the main details of how to put the tape on. What you want to do is you want to start by cutting two strips of tape. One of them should be about 5 inches. The other one depends on how far you feel the pain. So what you want to do, you can draw it on with marker or you can just eyeball it, but you want to get a strip of tape that's about two-thirds the length of where all the symptoms are, you feel, all the tingling and numbness and pain is you feel. So if I was to kind of go along here with the tape, this is about right here. Once you got your strips cut, the third thing you're going to do is you're going to take the long strip and you're going to cut straight down the middle here. I'm just showing you guys like that. There is a lot of very technical things with K-Tape that I don't really want to get into, but just, just know that if for some reason doing this yourself doesn't work, you can see a qualified professional in K-taping and they can help, help you take care of this even further. But I want to give you guys a simple kind of do-it-yourself method you can do at home, just, just so you can be the expert of your own leg. Once you got your two strips of tape, you have to find where the starting point is with this. The first thing you need to do is you need to figure out where the crease of the hip is. So if I was to put my hand right down here in my hip, that, that's the pocket where I can keep my hands in. The next thing you need to do is you need to find the bony part on the top of your hip, which is the one that sticks out right here if you go in the top uh, outer corner. And you want to go about a thumb, about two inches to the side in there. And I have it marked with this big black dot right here to show where we're going to start. This is really important because this is right where the nerve passes and this is where you can take most of the tension off. Once you get that done, you're going to take these strips of tape and you're going to rip the piece of tape here. 
Just start by ripping the first half off and then you're going to put the piece of tape right over top, just slightly over top of the hip crease, but over where that big dot is that I marked two inches beside the bony part of the hip. Once you get that, you're going to follow along the perimeter of where your pain is. So basically follow it to where the backside is of the pain and you're going to go over the entire area of the leg from basically start to finish, putting it on enough stretch that you use the entire part of the tape, but it doesn't go overboard. You can kind of go down to the end there. And you're basically surrounding the whole entire area. You can curve it at the end as well, just to get around it. But the whole idea is that you're surrounding where the pain is, and that's the first strip of tape you're going to put right there. You can use the other side of the tape to rub it all in. And once that one's nice and secure, you're going to take the second piece, or the second half of the split piece of tape, and you're going to put that at the exact same starting point as the other one. Only instead, this one is going to go along the front side, following the exact same rules that I mentioned for the other side. The big idea is that as you have this on, as you take it off, the next time you put it on, you shouldn't have as big of an area and it should slowly decrease till you eventually have no pain at all. You're going to follow this other one down on the other side. And make sure that one's rubbed in as well. For the third strip of tape, this one is actually going to go right on the hip crease. So right on that spot I was talking about where you can keep your hand. And this one you're actually not going to stretch very much. What you're going to do is you're going to rip this off here. But what I'm going to show you guys is how much you have to stretch it. So if this is 100% of a stretch, you want to go one quarter of that. So a very, very gentle stretch you're going to put on this. With this one, I am going to start with one side being on that bony part of the hip, right there. And this is going to go right along the hip crease here. So all I do is just put a gentle, gentle stretch right here, just to cover over top. And it should go right down the hip crease. One way to tell if this is in a good position is if you bend your knee, you should see it fold in where the tape is right there. That's how you know you have it in the right spot. And I can't roll up too high because uh, of YouTube, but this is in general how it should feel here. It should surround the whole entire side of the leg and you should feel like it takes the pressure off and decreases your pain. For the tape job, you want to keep it on no longer than three days at a time. After that, you can reapply it because you do want to give your skin a little bit of a break to breathe. If you have the right tape, you should be able to shower with it, run with it, do whatever you need to on your day-to-day -day life. Uh, just make sure it doesn't make the skin itchy at any point. Over time, you should feel like the pain decreases or the area of where the pain is decreases as well. I also should mention that this is not my original idea. The original idea came from an article that I read. It's for free to read online by Kalikman and a couple two other authors that I'll link below. It was a case study they did where they actually looked at people with this condition and they had qualified professionals using K-tape on them. And they did find in these particular cases that they, their pain went down. And I found that really incredible because in a lot of ways there aren't too many things out there as far as advice to deal with this, aside from just waiting and letting it go away on its own. So if you like this video, please subscribe to Riley Rehab. Comment below to let me know if it helped and I will see you next time.